Welcome to the Emirates Airlines USA Rugby Men's Division II College National Championships. My name is Gift Gift Tommy Bailu. I'm here with the Katie Worst out here on Furman University campus in Greenville, South Carolina. We are getting ready for a great weekend out here today where we will see the top four teams for Division II pitting off against each other over the course of the next two days. Our first two will be two games for today, and tomorrow we will see the Consolation and Champions. Katie, tell me, what do you think about some of these teams today? Well, we have a really just great matchup in store for us here. Notre Dame College, it's only their third consecutive year of existence, and the program here, a varsity program from the great state of Ohio, really interested in some redemption because Whitewater was the program that they lost to in the round of 16 last year. Whitewater then went on to challenge Minnesota Duluth, came up just short, certain that they're interested in a bit of it, a, a rematch here. All right, this looks like it's going to be a great matchup for both of these teams. We're going to get a chance to start this off as kickoff is about to begin. Looks like uh, Whitewater will take the ball, uh, be kicking off the ball to Notre Dame College. For the starting roster for today for Notre Dame, it looks like we'll have Alec Jawicki starting at prop, John Santiago, Khalid Williams, Spencer Duncan, Lashan Ruskin. And we have kickoff. It looks like number four, Spencer Duncan taking the ball in for Notre Dame College under a kick. And Notre Dame gets on a block ball right off the bat. Whitewater is able to recover the ball on the attempted kick. Number nine, Skip Ginnell will be uh, starting off. Whitewater is able to take the ball in. That'll be number five, Andalino. If you're just tuning in, we've got Notre Dame College in the blue and yellow off to the right. University of Wisconsin Whitewater is in the purple. As both teams trying to take advantage of this ruck. Uh, got a great deal of physicality already early on in this match. Notre Dame really known for what they found out so far this season is they face some different challenging programs like Salisbury as well as some of the others which have been known for their physical style. It's really helped to gain them a great deal of confidence coming up, especially being the only newcomer here to this series of four teams. Notre Dame is going to have the scrum advantage. Number nine, Mike DeSoto will be putting the ball in for Notre Dame College. First penalty of the game inside Notre Dame territory, just about the 22-meter line. DeSoto, a native from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, probably very familiar with the UW school system. Referee Scott Green holds the scrum for stability. Soto gets it out. Ball kicked out into touch. Still inside Notre Dame territory. It's going to be Whitewater possession on the lineout. Good pressure relieving kick there by Ronan Forstall. Actually coming off of an injury that occurred earlier in the season. Really making a fantastic comeback. Played exceptionally well here for Notre Dame College. And Ball's thrown in. Whitewater is able to recover. Ball's taken to the ground. Grams is able to get the ball out to Healy. Healy gets the ball out to his inside center as they are still on his feet and taken down into the ruck. Healy trying to find a little open space for himself. We have a penalty advantage going to Whitewater. It is not rolling away by Notre Dame College. Whitewater, a program that's known for having a great deal of pace. Their speed is really evenly matched between their backs and their forwards. They've done well so far to maintain possession. Healy gets the ball out deep inside Notre Dame territory. Whitewater to take the throw. Great deal of communication from both sides. And ball is recovered by corner for Whitewater. Whitewater crashing down, trying to take advantage of the ruck and possession. Ball is taken out to Healy. Healy getting the ball out to Siddick. 
Sidnik is taken down immediately. Pass back up to Fouche. Ball's kicked, and we have a block, a little bit of a return block for Notre Dame. Notre Dame recovering the ball inside their territory on the ruck, but we have a penalty advantage for Whitewater. Uh, it'll be a scrum inside Notre Dame College. Great deal of back and forth play. Fantastic job there by Notre Dame College. They're known for their defensive prowess and their line integrity. Really done well, considering Whitewater's had a series of phases that have been quite consistent. Holding their own at this point is Notre Dame. Looks like we have a little bit of uh, confusion in the front three, front row. Referee Scott Green just taking a moment to just talk back and forth, making sure the stable platform's there. Always concerned about safety here at USA Rugby National Championship Series. Much better scrum there by Notre Dame. Whitewater getting a little bit of a skew on. And Grams gets the ball out. Out to Healy. Healy taking it out to Siddick. Siddick taking it out to Patchowitz. Patchwitz is taken down, and it looks like we have a turnover. Notre Dame in possession of the ball. Unfortunate turnover there, but Notre Dame College just so quick to really take advantage of a little bit of a miscue. Janoka is able to take the ball down. Balls pass out to Forrestal and cut back inside. Notre Dame College able to maintain possession, but unfortunately penalty advantage against Notre Dame College. It will be Whitewater's ball on the knock-on. We've seen a series of scrums here so far, probably due to a bit of nerves being in the semifinal round. Always critical and important for backline players to really keep their eyes on the ball, watch the ball straight into their hands. A number of scrums early on can mean the difference between fatigue towards the end. Tim Graham's getting ready to put the ball in for Whitewater. Graham's older brother is Prop Joseph Graham's. This is his first season here at Scrum Half, and he's really picked up and risen to the challenge here. He's known for just being a calm demeanor, and really, really one that helps. Probably useful to have his brother so close there in the front row. One has to wonder if this 48 degree weather out here in Greenville is affecting these teams yet. Just trying to get themselves warmed up and ready as the games are proceeding on. Scrum has been engaged. Grams gets the ball in. Notre Dame College getting back to their physicality, really known for their scrummaging prowess, doing well there. Looks like we have a little holding of the ball inside the ruck. It's going to be Notre Dame ball on the penalty advantage. Whitewater not releasing, just giving away kind of a careless penalty there. Ronan Forstel setting up to kick the ball into touch. Ball's kicked inside Whitewater territory for the first time in this game. Notre Dame will be taking the line out just outside the 50-meter mark. Number three, Khalid Williams will be thrown will be thrown in for the line out. Notre Dame's able to take the ball in, put it into a mall. Try and take control, use the physicality early in this game. Ball well taken by Captain Spencer Duncan. He's known for being the outspoken leader there of Notre Dame College. Ball's taken down. Big hit by Whitewater on the high tackle. It's gonna be a penalty advantage to Notre Dame. Referee Green just taking a moment, doesn't like what he sees. Have a bit of a conversation, working on his management. Forrestal kicks the ball out. It is kicked into a touch just outside the 35 meter mark. Forrestal's been on point so far with this kicking for territory. 
Notre Dame College kind of slowly creeping downfield. And the ball is lost on the line out, and Whitewater is able to recover the ball. Whitewater attempted to crash at Notre Dame quick with the defense. And we have another penalty. It will be another penalty advantage for Notre Dame, not releasing the tackler, not releasing the ball. Great effort there on the double tackle that forced that turnover early on. Again, credit to this defensive system that they've put together here. Looks like Notre Dame College will be kicking for points. You can see early on the head coach Brian McHugh, what he tends to emphasize in their training and what they're doing. Really so quick off the line, and their integrity's been solid as well. Ronan Forrest will be attempting to kick for touch. He has been in, he was injured at the beginning of the season, but he has been exceptional coming back into this game. We'll see how he does for these first point attempts. Great decision here to try to put some points on the board early on. Here the championship series games can come down to a penalty kick at any point. Forceful kicks and the kick is missed. It goes out the back of the try zone. It will be taken at the 22 meter mark. Notre Dame College setting up for the response by Whitewater. Sure, Whitewater right now you see coach you see player Healy just kind of talking to his players, helping them get them ready to regroup. They started out so quick. And Paul ball goes into touch. It'll be Notre Dame's ball uh, just at the 15 meter mark. John Santiago throwing in for Notre Dame College. Native of the Bronx in New York. Notre Dame College is able to recover. Big recovery by number four, Spencer Duncan. And we have a non-straight ball. It's going to be uh, an advantage to Whitewater. Unfortunate on the not-straight call. Really, Duncan just went above and beyond the call. Great outstretched effort. Joseph Graham setting up to... Throw in for the line out. And no, oh, Notre Dame College able to recover the ball on the line out. Number nine, recovered by number nine, Pike DeSoto. DeSoto is taken in on the ruck. Ball is picked up by the fours, taken down on the immediate crash. Notre Dame trying to utilize that physicality nice and early as number six, Nick's joking, was able to get it down. Ball's pass out to number 10, Forrestal. Forrestal dummies and is taken down immediately. Forrestal did well to get out of trouble there. Just doing a good job of just kind of dodging as that Whitewater defensive line come forward. Fuchs is able to recover the kick by D Notre Dame, and we have... Forcel knocking the ball on his knee, but is still managed to maintain possession by Notre Dame. But we have a penalty. It will be a knock on against Notre Dame. Penalty uh, scrum advantage to Whitewater. Solid kick forward there by Fuchs. Just really looked up, had great field vision, saw a bit of space. Really putting Forrest all under pressure early on, who's been very solid in terms of the pressure that Whitewater has been producing. Scrum has been engaged, Grams, and we have a collapsed scrum. While we're talking. And if you want to get a chance to see more action like this, you can check out the Atlanta Sevens on, in March. It will be held in Atlanta for Women's Series International Sevens match. Guys, get excited. USA is trying to get an Olympic spot. Event will take place March 14th and 15th, and it is in 
uh, Fifth Third Bank Stadium at Kennesaw State University. You can go ahead online and get your tickets early on at usarugby.org slash Atlanta7s to purchase. Whitewater's able to recover the ball. Looks like we got a bit of a knock round happening out there as Notre Dame College was able to keep the ball and maintain possession. It'll be a penalty advantage going to Whitewater. Looks like we had multiple knocks occurring within that play. Notre Dame College dodged a bullet there. You saw Forstall just jumping on the ball, trying to ground it as quick as he could. A lot of conversation happening. You see Mike DeSoto just really kind of marshalling his troops, telling everybody to have a conversation. Referee Green as well, talking a bit more too. Whitewater regrouping just the same. Great opportunity for them, great attacking platform. Notre Dame College really trying to set up their defense, getting ready for the strong uh, Whitewater attack. Grams puts a ball into the scrum. There's that great shove we've seen so far from Notre Dame College scrum. Healy trying to make some moves, taken down immediately by number eight, Dylan Rice. Ball's picked out by Graham. Graham gets it out to number 13, Sidnick. Sidnick taken down. Setting up for the ruck. Ball taken out to the forward, number five, A.J. Andolino. You can see Whitewater trying to utilize that power to crash through, open up some gap space for their uh, attacking line. Notre Dame does a great job on the tackle. Jackal there, really getting the ball, creating a great opportunity to relieve some pressure with the kick. Great kick by Ronan Forrestal getting Notre Dame out of that tight position inside their try zone. Going to be putting Whitewater back near their 50-meter mark. Critical mistake there for Whitewater. Just ran away from their support a bit. Notre Dame just really quick on the ball. Much more known for their physicality. We've seen a great deal of defensive skill set so far. Whitewater is able to recover the ball on the line out. Ball's passed out to Healy. Healy gets it out to Siddick. Siddick taking it into Kitchener and Kitchener taking it back out. Whitewater putting some great pass transitions in this phase and it will be a penalty. It was a knock on against Whitewater. Notre Dame will be taking the scrum advantage in the 35 meter mark. That was Trezwecki, just a really great line of running, and Healy always has great, fantastic field vision, former high school All-American, really quick with that nice little offload. Whitewater, a great deal of ingenuity so far. Notre Dame card setting up to take the scrum, ad scrum advantage. So to get the ball in. And we have an eight man pickup. Quick attack by number nine, uh, Tim Grams for Whitewater. And we have a penalty advantage not rolling away by Whitewater. Forsell will be setting up to kick the ball into touch. Whitewater again just giving away an undisciplined penalty, giving Notre Dame a chance to kick for territory, march themselves down the field. Line out will be taken from the just inside the 50-meter mark inside Whitewater territory. Santiago setting up to, for the throw-in. Notre Dame College, one of the few varsity programs here in the U.S. and only their third year. Also, their women's program is playing, competing in the D2 Fall Championship Series in Palm Coast, Florida at the same time. Great transition by Notre Dame, getting the ball inside Whitewater territory. Santiago dodging one player, still on his feet and is taken down just inside the 35-meter mark for inside Whitewater territory. And we have a knocked, a drop ball by number four, 
Spencer Duncan, Whitewater's maintaining possession on the advantage, and a penalty will be called on the forward pass by Notre Dame College. A great transition that was lost just a little bit early, just by a little disciplinary issues and awareness. We'll take it back to the heart of that run right there. Santiago, the Bronx native, just fantastic. Great showing great speed and agility, just working his way through. Doing a good job to keep two hands on the ball, so he's active for the offload. Fantastic job there by the hooker. Graham's getting ready to put the ball in for Whitewater on the scrum advantage. You see Notre Dame College backs just kind of sliding over. A lot of communication from Forrestall. Kind of marshalling that backfield to get in quality position. You have to really have a quality matchup so far. You folks at home that are watching, if you want to join the conversation on Twitter, go ahead and use hashtag NCS2014. If you've got certain players that are performing well, let us know about it. Both these teams playing very physical inside the scrums. Notre Dame putting in the push that they've been showing all game, and it looks like we're going to have a turnover on that. It will be an advantage of 180 spin for Notre Dame. Notre Dame will take the scrum advantage. Notre Dame College really celebrating that wheel there. Great field position for them. There's a known for their defense and their scrummaging prowess so far. Whitewater really has been kind of struggling to figure out a solution to that. They have a slight advantage there on the first initial shove. As we get the scrum reset again, DeSoto setting to put the ball in for Notre Dame College. And we have a penalty against Whitewater. It will be a penalty advantage to Notre Dame College. Looks like the referee, Green, will be speaking with Whitewater, discussing a little bit of the issues with uh, Captain Healy. Healy, known as a vocal leader here of the program, really he keeps the back line in position. Also plays with the Metropolis Men's Club as well and formerly is a former high school All-American. Looks like Notre Dame College will be kicking for points again. Number five, Lashland Ruskin will be setting up for the kick. And the first kick is made. The first points of the day have been made. Notre Dame College goes up in this game 3-0. This is great play by both of these teams. You can thank Emirates Rugby fans. You guys can always come together with Emirates, the official airline of USA Rugby. Enjoy our award-winning services to more than 140 destinations worldwide across six continents. Quick little pop care there from Forrestal to relieve some pressure. Whitewater really early on. Making some movements upfield. Whitewater will be setting up for the line out. If you just tuned in here, Notre Dame College is up three to nil against UW Whitewater. And Whitewater is able to recover the line out. Ball gets out to just missed by Captain Healy. Recovered by Tyler Fuchs. Ball's so taken out to number 13, Robbie, Robbie Sidnick. Notre Dame College able to get the turnover as the ball goes into touch. Santiago will be setting up for the line out to throw in for the line out for Notre Dame College. A great deal of enthusiasm from Chris Adorno, one of the wings there at Notre Dame College. Pretty thrilled about that defensive chase. Big recovery by number eight, Dylan Rice for Notre Dame College. 
taking the uh, mistimed ball, but it will be a whitewater advantage in une unstraight ball. <laughs> Dylan Rice, he's typically an impact reserve. He's got the opportunity for the start here today. So we look forward to Tom Walsh, another player, probably coming on in that role. And speaking of support, AIG is a proud sponsor of USA Rugby. AIG is the leading international insurance and financial service organization serving commercial, institutional, and individual customers in more than 130 countries. We really appreciate the support from AIG. As the team set up for the scrum advantage, Graham gets the ball in. Whitewater trying to hold, not trying to lose another one on the 180. Healy is able to recover the ball. Healy trying to dummy it out, taking it in himself. Still on his feet, spinning out, taking on a couple Notre Dame college players as he, they go in for the ruck. Whitewater is able to recover. Kicked ball by number 13, Robbie Sidnick. Sidnick is able to make the big hit. Oh, my goodness. Whitewater wrung him out like a dirty T-shirt on the big hit, causing the turnover and preventing, preventing them from pre stopping Whitewater from getting the score. Whitewater gets the first try of the day. Talk about reward for defensive pressure there. Really, Whitewater just caught Notre Dame College kind of off the wrong foot. Really well-earned, good textbook tackle there. Well-earned try early on. A lot of enthusiasm from the crowd here. Whitewater setting up for the point after. Gift, we really have just seen some excellent defensive effort so far. What do you think has been the key here for both sides? We got to say it's got to come down to the scrums. Both of these teams have been trying to maintain control of it. Notre Dame has shown extreme effort in being able to take control of these scrums early. But you can see Whitewater is starting to see what is going on and using it to their advantage, opening up the fields for the backs. And uh, you're starting to see a lot more crashes happening with them. The ball is kicked. And it is missed. It will be 5-3, to three, Whitewater up on Notre Dame College. Notre Dame College setting up for the kick. Whitewater getting ready for a return. Whitewater has a slight edge here by points. They have an 11 perfect record, 11 wins so far this season on the line. Santiago kicks the ball off. White Rewater recovers it. Tries to dummy it in, pass out. Ball gets out to number 15, Pashawitz. Pashawitz gets it out to the winger, and it is kicked into touch. It will be kicked into touch. Looks like we're going to get a chance to see the big play. Oh, what a play by number 11. Matt Drzwiski showing that wingers also can make big hits too. It's going to be a scrum advantage deep inside Whitewater territory. Notre Dame College will be taking the scrum advantage. Drzwiski known as just a player that has a combination of both power and speed. Also a try scoring threat here for this UW Whitewater team. Fantastic effort to turn a defensive moment into a turnover quick for scoring opportunity for Whitewater to get on the board. Both, both these teams setting up. Great field position here for Notre Dame College. Notre Dame College gets the ball in. And ball is knocked right out. And it will be maintained Notre Dame College possession on the uh, straight out ball. A real physical scrum battle here will be a credit to the test of the fitness level of both teams in the tight five forward pack. Both the teams setting up for the scrum. Scrum engagement. DeSoto gets the ball in. And the ball's taken out. Taken out to Forrester. 
And once again, the straight up ball still maintaining advantage of it for Notre Dame College. Let's see if these teams can get it for on the third time's the charm. DeSoto making every effort to get the ball off quick, hoping the referee Green misses it. Save his front row from one extra scrum. I'm sure they appreciate that gift. All right. You can see Whitewater starting to get a little bit underneath the skin for of uh, Notre Dame College. Those scrums are becoming more and more of an effort. And Whitewater was able to recover this ball inside the scrum. Number 11, Ronale Reynolds is able to get the ball, passing it out. Still maintaining possession of the ball as he's taken down inside the 22-meter line inside Whitewater territory. In Notre Dame maintaining possession as we have a penalty advantage going to Whitewater. It's going to be a knock-on ball against Notre Dame College. Whitewater will take the scrum inside their territory. Unfortunate knock on there. Reynolds did really well to communicate before he even had ball in hand. Had some great support from his other backfield mates. We'll see how Notre Dame College does after Whitewater had a slight advantage on the last scrum. Whitewater is able to get it in. And ball is kicked out. Whitewater getting themselves a little bit out of that tough zone. Recovered by Reynolds. Balls pass out to Tutupla. Notre Dame maintaining possession, crashing inside, trying to give their forwards a chance to open it up for the backs. Bring in that Whitewater defense just a bit. Dummy by Forrestal. Forrestal has, is caught and taken down. Rook has been formed. And we got a forward crash using that power, power rugby. Just keeping it physical as these teams have been consistent with all game long. Ball's passed out to Forrestal. Forrestal, oh, attempts to get the ball out to number 13, 4 -0. And it is knocked back. Number 12, Rodney Thomas is able to recover it. Notre Dame very lucky on that play not to get a turnover. Forrestal, solid effort there. Envision just not so much an execution. And Whitewater is attempting to kick the ball, trying to get a little bit of an advantage for the try, but they unfortunately put it out into touch. <laughs> it will be Notre Dame College ball. So a little bit of insight into the game plan there for Notre Dame College, just kind of pick and charge, trying to grind it out, get a couple extra meters to pull in that defense. Whitewater's defense quick off the line, great line integrity, just put him under pressure. He's trying to spin the ball wide and just wasn't able to execute. Santiago setting up to put in for, line, put in for Notre Dame College. Recovered by number seven, Smith. Notre Dame College going into the mall. Set up as they're making gains in the territory. Both teams just excellent in the line out so far. A great deal of height from both sides. Forrestal kicking the ball off out to Whitewater. As the ball goes into touch. It'll go into touch about the 50 meter mark. It will be... It will be Whitewater ball. Reynolds attempting to do a quick recovery. Not working out so well. Whitewater will be able to take this ball in. See Santiago congratulating Reynolds on his effort there. Just a little bit of extra hustle. Almost pulled it off. Joseph Graham setting up for the lineup for Whitewater. Whitewater recovers. And we have an open field. Big play by number eight, Skip Ginnell. Ginnell passing the ball off inside. Ruck has been formed. And we get to see a little bit of big man action as Whitewater is able to crash it down inside. Great usage of that back pot in the line out. Really just spread the Notre Dame College program out too far. And Whitewater is, loses the ball on the kick and it is recovered by Reynolds. Notre Dame maintaining possession deep inside their territory. Whitewater showing a little bit more of that physicality as they get the ball out. Ball's taken out to number five. 
AJ Andolino, and Andolino takes it in for the score. Could not be stopped, would not be held back, and he makes it here, there's. Hold on one minute, looks like Green's gonna go talk to his assistant referee. Potential could have been knocked forward. And it is. Knock forward call. Some try line eyes there. Just wasn't able to finish it off. Whitewater losing a huge chance on that, but it was still a great play despite it not working out because of the forward knock on plet call. Just some really great continuity by Whitewater. Stemming from that line out. Great utilization, making, making the opposition move. Found some gaps, launched a great attack. Looks like we got the penalty advantage going to Notre Dame College. Collapsing the scrum by Whitewater. Unfortunate turn of events there by Whitewater. Looks like Forrestal's gonna kick. Getting a chance to go back to look at the Andolino try, uh, miss try. Andolino dropping it just as he gets inside the try zone. Not able to put down full pressure on the possession. Missing it by just centimeters. Credit to Forstall for just never giving up on defense. Looks like he got his hand in there, maybe punched the ball out. Whitewater able to recover the Notre Dame line out. Ball's taken now to Sidnick. Sidnick. Showing a little effort to get it out to his outside winger. Sidnick formerly played for Division I powerhouse Arkansas State. He was also a high school All-American at one point. Whitewater still in possession. Big hit by number eight, Dylan Rice for Notre Dame. Looks like we have a penalty advantage against uh, Whitewater will be penalty advantage to Notre Dame. I'm sorry, it will be a penalty advantage for Whitewater. You see the level of intensity and physicality around the breakdown starting to pick up. Looks like Green's going to have another conversation. Gift, can you speculate on what they're talking about now? Looks like we probably saw a little bit of a high tackle going in on that play against uh, uh, Whitewater, setting up for that penalty. Saw just some tough play by, by Rice as he was trying to take him down. But you know what? You have to be. Whitewater White likes to kick it out and go for the line out. Solid decision. They've had some success there with the line out. And Whitewater with the short, short line out throw in. They like to try to jam it upfield. Again, that Notre Dame College defense just really making it very difficult to maintain possession. We'll scrum here off the knock on. Be advantage to Notre Dame. Notre Dame College has been absolutely hot around the scrum. See great angle of good body position there from Notre Dame College. Forstall is able to kick the ball out. And it goes out into touch inside Notre Dame territory, just outside the 44-meter mark. We'll take a second look at that near try. Such a game-changing difference of the score. <laughs> Possession has been the key issue in this game. Both teams having difficulty maintaining it, whether it's in penalty or whether it is uh, through turnovers. Notre Dame College loses the ball in turnovers, and it'll be knocked on by Whitewater. 
in the line out. Notre Dame College will be able to recover their, uh, their ball on the scrum advantage. Again, we're very consistent with this scrum battle that we've had from both sides. Scrum has been engaged. Notre Dame College using all that power, keeping them at bay. Forrestal gets the ball, tries to attempt to kick the ball. It is recovered by Healy. Healy still on his feet, taken down just at the 22. Ball's out. Reynolds, a miscue on the direction for Forstall. Gets in the way of his kick. And we have a penalty advantage going to Whitewater. He had an offsides against Notre Dame. Coming from the side. Whitewater will be kicking for points. Just a little lack of communication and timing there by Notre Dame, Notre Dame College. Going to cost them. Not only do they give up possession, but Whitewater is able to convert it into a penalty, a penalty kick attempt here. Tim Graham setting up, looking to add a little bit more cushion on this score. Graham's known for having a strong pass at the base of the ruck. Also solid kicker here for the Whitewater team. And Graham gets the ball through, taking Whitewater up 8-2-3. Fans at home in Grafton, Wisconsin. Pretty thrilled with the performance there so far by the Graham's brothers. Interesting combination of a prop and a scrum half. Graham's being a senior. He was part of the championship team in 2011 for Whitewater. Certain he's interested in helping his brother share in the experience of winning a national championship for USA Rugby. Whitewater able to maintain possession on the kick. Whitewater still keeping the ball within the ruck, trying to use those forwards, power up for the backs. And Whitewater's able to kick the ball off. Ball's passed out to Reynolds. Reynolds trying to use some open field, passing back inside to Rice. Rice getting it all the way out to Ardorno. Ardorno trying to show a little action to number 15, Tupola. Notre Dame College trying to show some of those sick passing transitional skills. Whitewater just a little slow on the launch forward defensively. DeSoto Ooh. gets the ball out to Forrestal. Forrestal trying to get the ball out to number 15, to Tupelo. Much better defensive pressure from Whitewater on that second series. Both Look. teams making a great effort for this ball as Whitewater is able to recover it deep inside their territory. We have a penalty. Got a little, it's getting a little bit scrappy inside. Passion for both of these teams are starting to pick up as this physical play has been going on. There's some hard stopping rugby going on right here. Referee trying to separate it out a little bit. It's a bit chaotic here in the red zone by both sides. We've seen a number of scrums within the five meter mark. And it looks like we're coming to the end of the half. It looks like the referee will be stopping play. So after a little bit of the scuffle going on, both teams have been playing an intense game so far. This has been about as defensively minded as you could ask for in a, a short score of eight to three so far. Whitewater has been able to take advantage of some small plays, namely the big hit that led it to the try. And uh, Notre Dame College has shown a lot of effort inside the scrums. <laughs> You know, what have you been able to see so far? Really just, it's a matter of execution within the red zone. Both teams just having some handling errors that have been difficult. And um, with that, we've got a number of different 
a uh, series that last that tackle that was exceptional by the Whitewater team really was able to convert that to get that early try on the board. Oh, excellent. Well, we'll see what both of these teams are able to do to change up some uh, game plans going into this second half. We'll be back after the half. <laughs> Welcome back to the second half of this Hard, tough game between University of Wisconsin Whitewater and Notre Dame College. It is a 8-3 game. Whitewater up on this. Notre Dame College will be taking the kick early in this second half. We really haven't seen a solid defensive effort by both sides. The only try that was converted was off of a fantastic defensive maneuver. Whitewater coming out in this early play. Just tough, running hard with the forwards, grinding it out. Big kick by number nine, Tim Grams. And an attempted recovery by number 14, uh, Chris Adorno. Whitewater able to maintain possession of the ball on that kick. Whitewater coming in like they have reckless abandon in their minds. And it's going to go into touch. Whitewater with all the momentum here early on in the second half. Just a solid tackle converted, and then Graham's great box kick. Fantastic length, put it in good field position. 
We see the ever dangerous line out that they've had. They've been typically going to the back pot and having a great deal of success there. We'll see how it works out. Oh, well, looks like it actually is going to be Notre Dame college ball. Santiago go looking to help out Notre Dame on this line out, hopefully giving them a little bit of the momentum back after a great starting push by University of Wisconsin Whitewater. Both these teams look set and physically ready to go. There's been just some quality action here that we've seen. If you're interested in more great rugby action on the women's side of the game, we've got the International Women's Rugby is going to return to Atlanta on March 14th and 15th at Fifth Third Bank Stadium at Kennesaw State University. You can get your tickets at usarugby.org slash Atlanta 7s. Notre Dame able to maintain position of the ball in the line out. Forrestal able to kick the balls out. It is recovered by Graham. Graham getting it out to Sidek. Sidnick taking the ball in. Graham gets the ball out to number five, Andalino. Great go forward momentum here by Whitewater. We're starting to see that speed that they're really known for. We have a penalty advantage to Whitewater, not rolling away by Notre Dame College. Inside Notre Dame College territory, Whitewater has got to be loving this as they're able to take immediate control of this game early. Notre Dame College will be looking to try and take advantage, take back the control on this game after a strong first half, especially inside the rucks and the scrums. We've really seen Whitewater just kick it into second gear here, a great deal of momentum to their side early on. Credit to their experience level, Whitewater no stranger here to this national championship series. As we mentioned before, Notre Dame College, this is their first opportunity here, they're the newcomer. They only have one senior on the roster for Notre Dame College. We can look forward to a number of opportunities for them in the future. Whitewater putting the ball in for the line out. And recovered by Whitewater, deep inside Notre Dame territory, going in for the mole. That's Sam Kerner on the take. He's been all over the line outs all day. Graham gets the ball out to Healy. Healy getting the ball out to Sidnick. And Notre Dame College with the kick, trying to give himself some advantage. Poshowitz getting the ball, kicking it off. And it is recovered by Notre Dame College on the bounce off. Santiago showing a little bit of gusto on that early play. Good charge down effort there by Whitewater. Drew Wickey showing a little bit of that. Spencer Duncan. And we get a kick by Thomas. I'm sorry, kicked by Kitchener. Reynolds. Ball's recovered by Notre Dame College as Rodney is able to get the ball in. Reynolds did well to field that ball in the air. Big power play by Notre Dame. Good effort to move the ball by Santiago. Ball's taken in by Janoka. Great defensive effort there by Whitewater. Tackling back behind the game line. Ball passed off to Khalid Williams. Williams trying to show a little bit of that open sp space speed. So he's taken down inside Whitewater territory. Ball's kicked out to Forrestal. And we have a penalty advantage going to Notre Dame College on the high tackle by Whitewater. Forrestal would have probably wanted that pass a little bit more shoulder height. Had to jump up and get it. Again, great pressure from Whitewater defense. Call is a high tackle on Whitewater. Forrestal gets the ball out into touch. It'll be just inside the 22 meter inside Whitewater territory. Hey, hey, hey. 
If you're interested in learning more about the rules of the game, you want to make sure that you don't miss the 2015 USA Rugby National Development Summit. This year's event's going to be held in Chicago at the Hyatt Regency at Penn's Landing on February 21st through the 23rd. You can hear best practices, help your team out. You can register today at usarugby.org forward slash NDS. Santiago putting in for the line out. And ball goes into a, a mall. Khalid Williams leading the mall. And we have a penalty advantage to Whitewater. <coughs> Both teams having some issues with discipline here. Keeping calm under composure. Still a really close game, eight to three. Whitewater up slightly. Got to maintain connection on those malls. Got a. Whitewater setting up to put in. Joseph Graham putting in for Whitewater. And Whitewater l just loses the ball into touch again. It's going to be Notre Dame College ball. Santiago setting up to throw the ball in for the line out. It was Brady right on the effort to try to save the ball. Notre Dame College maintaining possession on the line out. Recovered by number nine, DeSoto. Both sides utilizing that back pot in the line out. Four across, great effort by the forwards. Great go forward and good support there by Notre Dame College. Whitewater quick to get on the ball. Notre Dame College gets the ball out. Forrestal takes it out to Reynolds. Reynolds bounces it, gets it out to number 13, Foro. Foro taken down just inside Whitewater territory. DeSoto gets the ball out to Forrestal. See the nope. tight, tight five forwards making an effort to get across field to help provide some support. Notre Dame College backline stretched out across the field. Notre Dame trying to find a little room for the into forwards. Forso does a, a attempted kick, does not work out so well. Whitewater is able to recover, ball's lost, and we have a penalty advantage going to Whitewater. Not releasing the tackler. Quick pickup by number 10, Healy. Healy's such an evasive player. And Always quick to take an advantage of a gap. We have another penalty against Notre Dame College. Whitewater will be taking the penalty advantage. Healy with a quick tap. Ball gets out to Sidnick. Sidnick dodging a player, getting the ball out to his winger. Taken down just inside at the 22 meter mark for inside Notre Dame territory. And we have a knocked on ball against Whitewater. Notre Dame College will be taking the scrum advantage inside their own territory. Gift again, just really having some handling errors there when they're closing in on the try zone. Both sides really having some issues with focusing and trying to con con be able to convert and finish. Both these teams setting up for both these teams setting up for the scrum. Both tight five groups really hanging in there, considering a number of really difficult scrums. Great even match here. DeSoto gets the ball in for Notre Dame College. And we have a collapsed scrum. It'll be Notre Dame College ball. See the symptoms of fatigue starting to set in. A lot of physical play that we've had here so far, especially in the forwards. Forstall is able to get the ball into touch. Getting the ball out just inside there, inside the 50 meter mark inside Notre Dame College territory. You can at least see Notre Dame College with that sigh of relief there. Quick little offload here in this replay. We'll slow it down a bit, just not quite able to convert it. Whitewater is able to recover the line out. 
Whitewater taking the ball in, and Notre Dame trying to show a little bit of gumption, getting the ball into Ruck. Something they've been shown all day. We really looks like we're going to have a penalty advantage against Notre Dame College. It'll be a penalty advantage to Whitewater. Grim, Graham gets the ball out to Sidnick. Sidnick kicking the ball off, trying to attempt a recovery by Whitewater uh, player. Notre Dame College able to recover. Forrestal kicks the ball out. Recovered by Patchewicz. Ball taken out to Drew's Wiki. Drew's Wiki taking the outside edge and takes it in for the score for Whitewater. Second score of the day for Whitewater. First one of the half. Whitewater trying to show that they really are attempting to push this ball out. Just solid effort to Drew's Wiki's other really fantastic job of drawing that defender, making a move and creating some great space. Drzwecki has that speed and power combination, and he is always a scoring threat. And you can see right out from the replay, starting straight up after the kick. The ball kicking it, taken in from Patchwitzki. That's Patchwitz so great to just draw both defenders. We saw Reynolds just getting a bit outplayed. Wasn't able to stick with his man on the outside. Patchwood saw it, did a fantastic job. Really puts Drizwicky away and solid effort by both teams. Pretty textbook rugby. Jokes. Tim Graham's setting up for the extra point. And the conversion is missed. Whitewater up 13 to three on Notre Dame College in the 28th minute of this game. Whitewater just showing some of the prominence of their back line, the speed that they have. Forstall really forced to clear the kick. And the backfield just worked very well together. Spread the field, was able to switch it and finish off for the try. Santiago able to kick the ball out, but it goes into touch. It was knocked on by Whitewater, so it will be Notre Dame possession on the scrum advantage. If you have some thoughts about that last try scored by Whitewater, the effort they put out there, go ahead and tune in and let us know at hashtag NCS2014. We always love commentary from the audience at home. And recovered by Notre Dame College. Big maul going by Notre Dame College, trying to show some more of that power that they had early in this game in the first half. Notre Dame College gets it out to Forrestal, Forrestal to Reynolds. Reynolds getting out to, to Tupelo. Back inside, and Ruck is formed. Santiago getting the ball inside. Big scrum hits on Whitewater by Notre Dame College. That substitute Terry Landis doing some pretty hard work, just charging forward, getting a couple of extra meters. We have a penalty advantage, a knock on against Notre Dame College, Whitewater will get the scrum advantage <coughs> inside Whitewater territory. See if Whitewater had really felt a victim of a collapse scrum early on when they were in the red zone. See if they made some corrections here. Ball bounces around a bit off the front foot. And Notre Dame College is able to recover the steal. That is number 23, Landis Terry, for Notre Dame College, able to take the ball in. Notre Dame College maintaining possession. Terry, smart move on the pickup. To Tupelo trying to show a little bit of that savvy, trying 
Trying to get some open field. Trying to find the open gap to get it off. Big ruck made by Notre Dame College. Tupuola, just a consistent player for Notre Dame. Showing a bit of flash there. Some great evasive moves. Big crashes by number three, Khalid Williams. And ball's taken out. Santiago trying to get it out. Ball's taken down. It looks like we're going to have a knock-on against Notre Dame College. It'll be knock-on at scrum advantage to Whitewater. Good pressure tackle there by Gino, the number eight for Whitewater. Low body height, able to get him around the ankles. Uh, Whitewater setting up for Whitewater setting up for the play. See, good shot there of the effort put in by both sides in the scrummaging battle that we've had all day. Notre Dame College getting a bit of a shove on. Notre Dame College, great position. Was able to get underneath the Whitewater scrum, popped them up. Both these teams have been in these scrum positions all game long. Big push by Whitewater. A lot of movement back and forth. And Notre Dame College is able to recover the scrum. The ball in the scrum and the ball is out. Recovered by Forrestal. Sloppy ball there on the breakdown. Forrestal does well to fall on it. Notre Dame College trying to crash with the forwards. See a lot of tired bodies here on both sides. Williams still on his feet. Williams did well to push the ball back. Whitewater showing a lot of gumption, showing great defense. It's going to be a penalty advantage for Whitewater. You see the enthusiasm, same as when they came out from the second half, the first 10 to 20 seconds. Really momentum is in the Whitewater's camp here. Looks like you're getting a chance to see, find out who's going to end up taking it. It looks like the scrums are going to be where it all keys in. Graham gets the ball. Sets the ball inside the scrum. Notre Dame trying to turn that scrum. And it is going to be Notre Dame College ball. able to turn to scrum. They have been able to do that several times over the course of this day. If your head coach Pat O'Connor here for Whitewater, you're talking to your team about sort of maintaining your composure. Looks like we have a substitution. Number five, Lachlan Ruskin is being replaced by <laughs> number 19, Cullen Baralka. Great tactical decision here to spend so many scrums all game long, trying to get some fresh legs in. Notre Dame College maintaining possession of the scrum, trying to prevent it from getting turned. Whitewater's able to recover the ball. Healy gets the ball, kicks it out. It's recovered by Notre Dame. See a great deal of support there by Notre Dame College. Good launch off the defensive line from Whitewater. Ball's passed out to Forrestal. Forrestal gets the ball. It's taken, 
still in possession. Notre Dame College maintaining the transitions. DeSoto gets the ball out. Landis Terry trying to show a little gumption, trying to push the ball in, keeping it in the forwards. Ball's taken out. Tuola shows some open field play. Looking to open up the speed a little bit for Notre Dame College. Cutting it back inside, and he is caught and taken down inside the 22-meter line of Whitewater. Tupola just great pace and showing that consistency. It's very dangerous if he gets some open field. Rodney T Thomas showing a little bit of the hip swivel. Notre Dame still trying to keep it and loses it inside the rucks. Whitewater will maintain half possession of the ball in deep inside their own territory. Notre Dame calls, trying to use the counter rucks to take advantage. And a block kick from, of uh, Tim Grahams. Whitewater is trying to get themselves out of the try zone, and Notre Dame does not want to let that go. Ball is kicked by Whitewater, recovered by tu Tuola. Tuola showing that quick agility, passing it out to Reynolds. A little bit of a scuffle here. We have a knock on against Notre Dame College. Whitewater will be taking advantage of this scrum. Referee Scotty Green is going to have a little conversation with his assistant referee just to make sure that what transpired on the field doesn't warrant any type of disciplinary action. Scrum advantage going to Whitewater. At this stage, late stage in the game here, we've had, as we said, just scrummaging left and right. Notre Dame College without prop Mike Gallagher, who's injured, which is a big loss. He's really a team leader and one that stabilized the program. If he's watching from home or from the sides now, I'm sure he'd be very pleased with their effort that they put in today. Graham able to get the ball out, but is tackled immediately by uh, number six, Nick Jokit. Whitewater still trying to hold possession. And Notre Dame College with a counter ruck, attempting to get the ball. Big hit by number seven, Everett Smith. And Whitewater is able to maintain possession. Lost in the second ruck, and Notre Dame College has it. DeSoto gets the ball out to Forrestal. Forrestal trying to do the quick dump off back in to DeSoto. DeSoto trying to find space, and we have a penalty advantage forward pass against Notre Dame College. Whitewater will take the scrum advantage inside their territory in the 22, <coughs> inside the 22 meter line. 17, 16 minutes remaining in this game. You mentioned some great play by Nick Jokin there who pairs with Lachlan Ruskin, a really solid pair of international athletes for Notre Dame College. Ruskin hails from Sydney, Australia, and Jokin from Johannesburg, South Africa. As we mentioned before, Notre Dame College is a varsity program. They are able to offer scholarships for their athletes, which helps to increase the diversity on the campus. Rams gets the ball out to Healy. Healy trying to cut it up inside. Taking it into the open field. He found a little bit of space, trying to show a little bit of the speed, a little pace, passing it out to number 12, Kitchener. Kitchener getting it out to the winger. And no, uh, Whitewater is taken deep inside Notre Dame College territory on a great big play. And in for the score, that is number 15, Eric Pachowicz. What a great play by this Whitewater team. Great transition, starting off with a big play by Jack Healy. Patchworth did really well to finish the effort that Healy put in. He's known for having great field vision and really just read the defense there, saw some space, backed himself, went for it. Patchworth really was able to combat the efforts that we've seen where people are just having some handling errors. Whitewater's really figured it out at this stage in the match. Whitewater takes the 
greater lead, 18 to three, in halfway through this second half. We've got a great fan following here for the Whitewater crowd. Heard a great amount of cheers come up for that one. Graham setting up for the conversion. Taking his time to line up the kick. The ball is kicked, and the conversion is no good. Score maintains 18 to three, Whitewater up on Notre Dame College. Giff, at this point with about 13 minutes left, closing in, you think Whitewater's in the driver's seat here? Whitewater has a chance to just be able to take advantage of this the rest of the way, but you still have to watch out. There's still a lot of time left on the clock. Notre Dame has shown that they have the ability to push it inside their the Whitewater red zone. It's just a matter of finishing plays, so they, Whitewater doesn't have a chance to be able to just sit still and let the game run out. I'm sure Whitewater is hungry to reach back to that winner's circle. Their former national champions for 2011, and always kind of around the semifinal round. They look pretty strong so far here. Looks like we got a little bit of uh, rope-a-dope happening here in this rugby match as the kicks are just not getting to the players. Looks like we finally end it with a double knock-on. So it looks like it'll be a scrum advantage going to Whitewater on being the initial knock against Notre Dame College. At this point for both teams, it's about focus, making sure you can see the ball come into your hands. There's a lot of athleticism on this field. The nerves are high here, just making sure that you're doing the little things right. Looks like we have a substitution in. Number seven, Sam Corner for Whitewater will be replaced by no, number Demetrius Demolis. Scrum is being engaged. We have a free kick set for Whitewater. Grams gets the ball out to Healy. Healy kicks the ball out. Perchowitz gets the ball on the recovery kick and scores a quick play. What a re-answer by Whitewater. Patchwitz has just been brilliant all day in his finishing. He really has been the answer to some of the issues that they've had with being able to finish the job. Patchwitz showing a strong second half. Incredible ball transition by this Whitewater team. And you can <laughs> see right here on the replay, just great focus, great finish, and great ability to catch that kick ball by, from Healy. Patchwitz just does an exceptional job of kind of watching the bounce of the ball. He's really quick to charge up, just excellent hustle to make sure they scored his second try of the day. The kick is up. Conversion is no good. Score maintains 23 to three. Whitewater just taking a solid lead in this game. Finish, trying to close out the second half, starting off with a big punching second half start. Notre Dame hoping to get some momentum back in this game. Ball's recovered by number six, Ian Olivas. Whitewater is taking the ball in. Ball's taken out to the Good backs. Off of there, Skip Ginnell does well to gain a couple of meters. Ball's getting a little sloppy out there. Notre Dame able to recover the sloppy ball. Pass out to Tutula. Tutula using that Tupola. open speed and gets the first try of the day for Notre Dame College. Excellent finish by Tupola, who's just been knocking at the door all day long. Incredibly evasive athlete. Really just a solid individual effort there. 
This has to help inflate the tires a bit of this Notre Dame college program. Like I said earlier, the games are never safe until it's over. Notre Dame College trying to show a little bit more gumption, trying to at least finally take advantage and finish the play. To see the huge hole made open by Tutuola as he's able to finally get the score in. Tupola just so such a great amount of uh, acceleration there. We've been seeing he's kind of been sniping around a little bit at the try line all day and able to convert right there. Score is 23 to 10. Notre Dame College still trailing only by 13 now. We still got a solid competition here with eight minutes left. You're just tuning in UW Whitewaters up 23 to Notre Dame College at 10. Well, Boater kicks the ball off and recovered by Santiago. Taken down at the 44, just before the 44 meter mark. Forrester kicks the ball out. Recovered by Patchewitz. Patchewitz trying to find some open space. Drew, Drew Wickey trying to take the outside edge and is just knocked into touch at the last second. It will be Notre Dame College ball inside the 50 meter mark inside Notre Dame territory, just about the 44. You saw Reynolds just celebrating, just barely nudged him out of bounds there. Credit to Patchwitz again for just committing those defenders. He's been brilliant at that. Line outs recovered by Notre Dame. Big pass is intercepted by number 14, Chris Adorno, and we have Penalty. Looks like the flag's out for potential unsportsmanlike play. See the team of three having a conversation. If you'd like to join the conversation about this match on Twitter, you can use hashtag NCS2014. Go ahead and let us know about your favorite play here on the match. All right, looks like we will have, it'll be a Notre Dame College possession. Forrestal setting up for the kick into touch. And ball is kicked into touch at the 50 meter mark. Certainly Whitewater's pretty happy with these insurance points that they have. And in that line, AIG is a proud sponsor of USA Rugby. It's a leading international insurance and financial service organization. We really appreciate the support that AIG has provided for us here to host these national championship series, as well as Emirates Airlines, which is the official airline of USA Rugby. Big play by DeSoto trying to get it deep inside Whitewater territory. Terry trying to use his power to push the pile. And it is recovered by Whitewater, but we have a penalty advantage going to going to Notre Dame College. Forrestal getting the ball out into touch, taking it inside the 22 meter line in Whitewater territory. You hear the crowd urging on Notre Dame College. Good field position here. Notre Dame College attempts to recover. It is lost, picked up by number four, Brady Wright. 
Grims gets the ball out. And Sidnick is able to kick the ball deep inside, outside of uh, Whitewater territory. It looks like it will go into touch inside Notre Dame territory at the 50 meter mark. Notre Dame will have the line out. Sidnick moves the ball halfway up the field. Good skill there by the former high school All-American. Green checking his watch. About five and a half minutes remaining in this game. Notre Dame College needs to take advantage of this timing. Notre Dame College able to recover the line out. Ball is passed out to Forsell. Forsell gets the ball out. To pass out to Tupula. To Tupula gets it out to Reynolds. Reynolds with the spin. Still on his feet and taken down inside Whitewater territory. Takes two defenders to take Reynolds down. Here's a good go forward momentum by Notre Dame College. Solid effort coming forth. Big plays. That's Tupolo made it all the way to the opposite side of the field. You can tell by his characteristic speed and power. Notre Dame College able to crash the ball in with the forwards, and it is lost inside the ruck. See Healy getting a bit chippy there around the breakdown. Whitewater thrilled to come away with that takeaway. Closing in on the four-minute mark, Gift. Whitewater's kicked the ball out into touch just near the 50-meter mark. Giving themselves even more space away from the try zone, not getting backed in. They've really taken a good control in this second half. Still a lot of life left in this match. We've seen a great deal of possession by Notre Dame College. Whitewater just able to make sure that they're managing transition time well. It's still anybody's match though. It's only a 13 point deficit. White, uh, Notre Dame College needs to just show that they can finish up some more plays. Whitewater able to recover this pass and from the line out. Ball's taken in inside Notre Dame territory. That's taken in by number two, uh, Jake Gershblock. Number five, and Dindolino is showing a little bit more of that speed, being able to break it through the Notre Dame defense line. Ruck has been formed, and Notre Dame attempted to get the ball. Penalty against Notre Dame. That'll be a penalty advantage to Whitewater. Whitewater is setting up for the points. Sally gain in territory by Andalino. Serves as the club president. I'm sure he does a great deal for this Whitewater squad. Also plays for the Dallas Red 7 side. Probably accounts for his pace there at the lock position. Tim Grams trying to make this solid three possession, three score game. And it is good. It is Whitewater up 26 to 10 with two and a half minutes remaining in this game. Graham, solid decision there to go for the points. Take a couple of seconds off the clock to just add a little bit of insurance that's much needed at this late stage. Santiago gets the, kicks the ball off to Whitewater. And ball goes straight into touch. See some great hustle there by substitute Landis to chase down the ball. Green makes movement to just make sure that the integrity of the tunnel is there in the line out. We're under the two minute mark. Whitewater is able to get the ball out. Ball's kicked by Healy. Recovered by per Perzak. Perzak gets it out to 
Tupula. Tupula, just a great offload there to Reynolds. They've worked very well all day. Nice counter ruck by Whitewater. Bodies on the ground everywhere. Notre Dame College comes away with it. Ball's taken out to Tupula. Tupula trying to show some open space speed. Perjak trying to get the ball in and is tackled immediately. Santiago, good charge forward. Great support by Notre Dame College. Defensive pressure, solid from Whitewater as well. Ball's taken out. Kick by Notre Dame by Rodney Thomas. Whitewater loses it. Reynolds gets the ball. Oh, it will be a penalty advantage to Notre Dame. Patrick would have wanted that kick out. Back, but Green brings it back for the penalty. Janoka attempt, tried to attempt to quick. Janoka dummying the kick, passing out to Santiago. And ball is almost lost to with a Whitewater turnover. It's going to be a knock on against Whitewater. Notre Dame College will take the penalty uh, scrum advantage. In a few waning seconds here of this match. And that will do it. Whitewater is able to take this first round of the semifinals match. 26 to 10. Whitewater had a dominating second half. Katie, what did you see from this game? Just really fantastic effort. Healy, so solid, being able to kick the ball forward. Great field vision. Patrick with just coming on. Exceptional job of just finishing off. They struggled a bit in the first half with finishing. But credit to Notre Dame College for coming back. Tupola, fantastic work. Reynolds, too, really able to put the points on the board so they kept the pressure on all game long, really treating us here to a fantastic challenge by both sides. Excellent. This was just a great play by both teams. Whitewater will be moving on tomorrow into the championship round. So don't go away. Stay tuned. We have... So we've got... Whitewater actually has now earned the right to move forward in the semifinal round, so now they're moving on to face against University of Minnesota Duluth, who is the reigning champion here for this Division II Emirates Airlines USA Rugby National Championship against James Madison University. So two solid teams. All Again, as we said, the only new coming team here has been Notre Dame College, so all these programs no stranger to this level of competition. So really in for a great treat here, Gift, so far. So stay with us for this day because there's so much more to come. It's going to be exciting. If this is just where it starts from, I can't wait to see what the rest of it is going to be. We'll go ahead and take a, take a look at some of the highlights of the day. That was just this early on solid tackle that happened by Whitewater. Great pickup. Good support. Just a really good job in the offload. Oh, that's the one where they just kind of slightly tipped it forward. Forrestal got his hand in there. This is Patchwood's fantastic job of just drawing that defense. And you're showing great pace and play by the Perchowitz again. Showing what he can do on the recovering the kick for the scores. Big play by Tupula. So, so we'll send it down to the field. Have Eric Patchowitz play man of the match. Eric, what was it that you were seeing in this game that you were able to take advantage of? What we really focused hard on all week was uh, committing the defenders and finding the holes outside. We watched film of them against Salisbury, and we really saw how hard they slid. And if we were able to freeze a defender, we could find a hole on the wing. You guys were having a little bit of a tough time inside those scrums in the first half. You guys looked like you came out strong. What was it? You, what did you guys talk about in the second half during the halftime? that you guys came out with so much power. We just needed to dig deep. I mean, we knew our scrum is, is one of the best of the nation and, and they kind of proved it in the second half. We've worked hard all season. We got a lot better. We got eight, five new starters in the pack from, from last year's Final Four team. So, I mean, uh, they just they worked their butts off in the second half. Eric, congratulations, just a fantastic effort. You in particular did such, as you mentioned before, really drawing that defender. You created tries all day. So when your field vision comes up and you're seeing that happen, what are you thinking? I mean, I just want to put my, my wing, Matt Jezwicki, away. It's his fifth year. Uh, he's a senior, so send him out on a high note, get him to the national championship. 
Has that been the theme of your guys' game all this season? Absolutely. We we want another one. I, we got a banner hanging from 2011. We want one for 2014. Excellent. Wonder, Eric, who are you who are you really looking forward to um, facing in the final? Oh, we want Duluth. It's been t two losses, two years in a row. We want we want to win for the third time. So this is a really opportunity for a uh, redemption here for you, right? Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for your time, Eric. We really appreciate it. Fantastic job. You're the man of the match here for this um, USA Rugby Emirates Airlines National Division II National Championship Series. We really appreciate your effort and good luck in the final match. Thank you so much. Great play by everybody. Guys, get ready. We're going to have another great match coming up. James Madison taking on the defending champion, the Minnesota Duluth. You guys stay tuned, and we'll be back.